Thank you very much, Doctor, for joining us today. My first question is, when do you think that video will become a basic telco uh, service and their fundamental capabilities? Um, I think um, video is already a basic telco service. If you look at all the video traffic uh, flooding through our networks already, especially by OTT players like uh, YouTube, and that we have to cope with our networks in order to rush this traffic through to our customer with decent quality, uh, like using a lot of uh, caching, um, then I think it's quite clear that um, video is already the main part. And the question gets a more tricky because in, in mobile networks, um, um, bandwidth is still a scarce resource which you have to pay for. So it's uh, usually in broadband you have flat fees, um, so all the video traffic is covered. But in mobile broadband the situation is different. And so I think to put the question more precise, the key question will be um, when will video become a um, basic service in mobile networks? Because if you look at the young generation, they are more or less hooked on mobile networks. And the next step is 5G. And the big rationale for 5G is, of course, uh, the increasing mobile video traffic already now. And all the future network extensions uh, we are building are basically to cope with the ever-increasing bandwidth demand of uh, video traffic, be it for our own services, be it for third parties. How does video impact the telco and the video industry? Yes, video is having a heavy impact uh, on us, um, not only on network um, capacity, but also, of course, can we get into special arrangements um, for delivering a better video quality to our customers? And this is a very tricky question, as you know as it is involving also a lot of regulatory question because um, in order to, do, uh, to deliver the best user experience in, in a network, uh, you have to do some special traffic handling uh, for, for video packets uh, so that they arrive in, 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 in time uh, at the device, at the customer. And it's even more tricky in mobile networks um, uh, to do this kind of um, prioritization of, of video traffic. Can we come to certain cooperative business models with our uh, content partners uh, in a way. But when it comes to uh, third party traffic, um, I think uh, we, we have to seek for extended business models uh, in, in line, of course, with the regulatory agreements and frameworks in the respective markets. Third, how will Deutsche Telekom innovating on the video user experience to win the local market? Yes, I think you're touching a very important point because um, user experience is key. It becomes quite clear you can have good content, but if you package good content uh, in a bad user experience, and user experience also means the user experience has to be more targeted. Because with one uniform user interface, I think it is difficult to address um, the markets because I think user experience will be a key differentiator also to keep your customer loyal in a way. And uh, we have to also cope with the problem when we integrate more and more third-party portals into our service, they come with their own user experience. To make the transition in your own service portal between different um, partner portals as easy as possible in a way. So this is for us the more tricky challenge as we are an aggregator as Netflix is a content partner for us and, and not an aggregator in, in that sense. So, yeah, it's clear. Um, user experience is a key market differentiator. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your time today. Yeah, Thank you're you. very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you.